in the uh, dialogue with the Chinese OT words uh, said clearly that the relationship, the trade and bilateral relations should be based on fair principles and rules. And uh, also tariff, as a matter of fact, uh, may be not always the best way to solve the matters because in the long term they can't be beneficial. So what we look forward is to re-establish a fair and balanced uh, exchange based on the uh, uh, rule of, uh, of the market, based on the uh, support that can be given in a coordinated way to preserve one of the uh, very important assets that the European Union has, which is its open market, as well as guarantee the maximum openness to new players and to bilateral cooperation, which can be very synergic between all the players, wherever they are from. China, as we know, is a powerhouse of solar and other alternative energy manufacturing. What specific opportunities or deals are there in the pipeline between Italy and China, specifically around green tech? Well, China is definitely a powerhouse in terms of production. And uh, I can fairly say that Italy is a powerhouse in terms of research and development and innovation. Uh, maybe not everyone knows that Italy has the highest energy intensity, which means that uh, Italy has, is on the headline in terms of uh, uh, really the quantity of energy they need to produce new quantity of GDP. So the cooperation is there. The cooperation is there because also if you look to the European Green Deal and to the new target that Europe has to reach its carbon neutrality, as a matter of fact, even along the visit of the EU uh, Commissioner to China, it was said that the internal production and supply of the European photovoltaic panels and wind power and heating pump and so on can be sufficient to reach the target. So there is a huge amount, over 50% of market, which can be in the hand of the external player. And so that's why I see great potentiality for cooperation. Cooperation which is not just for trade, but especially for innovation. And the cooperation which can take the players also to new market. And I'm looking especially to Africa. Italy has a, a long history of a fair and balanced cooperation with African country and uh, the Italian government recently launched a so-called Piano Mattei, which is a strategic plan for cooperation, especially in the Mediterranean uh, countries of Africa. So this is to say that the uh, bilateral trade and investment cooperation between China and Italy can be seen as a tool really for other countries to develop a, in a beneficial way also for other countries.